Hey, it's Miss Alana working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day, and I know you are too. This is Bus Driver Math Day 3. We are working on question number 7. Are you ready? Let's read the question together. It says, when our bus driver dropped us off, he, she, you can circle if you have a male or female bus driver, had to put gasoline in the bus. He, she pumped 13 gallons of gas. Convert the amount of gas that he, she got into liters. And here we have a conversion factor. It says one gallon equals three and 785,000 liters. So what we need to do is solve a problem, of course, but we can use our cubes, clues, cubes, clues, cubes, clues to solve the problem and help us out. The first step is the C step, that is to circle the numbers. Call out some numbers for me. What numbers do you see? Bam, bam, bam. Oh, I see 13. What else do you see? Uh, one, three, and 785 thousandths. What else do you see? Oh, that's it. Now, what do we need to do? Oh, we, we need to check off that step. Done with that step. The next step is to underline the important words. What words do we see? There's a lot of, that's a lot of words. So when there's a lot, we're going to just, we're going to calm down and we're going to breathe and we're going to take it one step at a time. So first thing we can underline the units that go with our numbers. So let's see, 13. What unit goes with that? It's 13 what? 13 gallons. Oh, 13 gallons of gas. That's good. And here's our number one. And what unit goes with that? Gallon. We have this number three and 785,000. What's our unit with that? Liters. Bam, right there. And now what do we do? Find other keywords. What do you see? Hmm. Mm -hmm, hmm. What do we see? Oh, convert. That's a keyword. What else do you see? What else do you see that's important that we need? Oh, there's our other unit. And you know what? I think we're good on that. If you underline other keywords, that's fine if you need that to help you. I think we're good with this one. Moving on to the next step. The next step is the B step. It says to box the question. Are you ready? Find the question. Ah, there's no question, but it tells you what to do. What does it tell you to do? Right there. Convert the amount of gas that he or she got into liters. So we need to convert the amount of gas into liters. So we are converting from gallons to liters. Bam, done with that. The next step in our cubes, clues, cubes, clues is the E step. It says to eliminate unnecessary information. So look at the problem. Is there anything in the problem trying to trick you? Is there anything trying to trick you? Now, yes, all these words right here. Oh. It's like extra words. We probably don't need that. We need to make sure that we have that, the 13 gallons, and convert. So we're done with that step. And the last step in our cubes, clues, cubes, clues, so solve problems is the S step. And the S step is to solve and check. We solve and check. Now, to solve the problem, we need to figure out Hmm, hmm, what type of operation, what type of operation, math operation do we need to do? There are four, someone's at the door. Maybe they want to find out more about math operations. Hold on. All right, so back to our math operations. There are four. What are they? It's right there. We could add subtract, multiply, or divide. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Oh, I could even make a song about that. Maybe you can help me make a song about that. Now, what do we need to do? Let's imagine. Let's think about it. Imagine 13 gallons. Well, let's imagine one gallon. One gallon of gas is the same thing as three and 785,000 liters. And L is the abbreviation for liters. So that's the same thing right there. Oh, look. It looks like I made a fraction. Because it's kind of like a fraction because they're equal. We need to figure out how many liters 
13 gallons is. So I need 13 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So to do that, there are two things we can do. Two ways we can do that. We can either add or multiply. Let me circle add or multiply. Now, raise your hand. Two hands up. If you rather add. Okay, so if you were going to do that, you need to write this number 13 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times and add that. Raise your hand or two hands if you want to multiply. You need to multiply 3 and 785,000 times 13. So either way, whichever way works best for your brain is fine with me. Let me see my brain. I think my brain wants to multiply. My brain wants to multiply. If your brain wants to add, go ahead and add it. If your brain wants to multiply, go ahead and multiply. And we can compare answers and see if we're right. Okay? So, 3 and 785 times, oh, 3 and 785 thousands times 13. Bam, right there. All right, so the first thing we do is we need to multiply what? I just keep changing this. We need to multiply this three first. So let's multiply three times. Five is 15. Write the five plus one up top. Three times eight is 24. Plus one is 25. Write the five plus two up top. Three times seven is 21. Plus two, 21, 22, 23, 23. Write the three. Plus two up top. Oh, that decimal does not go down. Remember when we multiply, it goes bloop, 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 bloop. All right, we'll save it to the end. The decimal is hanging out right now, just like zeros hang out. Three times three is nine plus two, nine, ten, eleven. No other place to put that. Put it right there. Bam. We are done with that three. So three, I'm done with you three. I'm done with you, I'm done with you, done with you, and don't forget the placeholder. Bam, right there. Zero placeholder. Next step, what we need, what do we need to do? We need to multiply that one. Let's multiply that one. One times five is five. One times eight is eight. One times seven is seven. And one times three is three. Now what do we do? Add them together. Let's add 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Write the 0 plus 1 up top. 1 and 3 makes 4. Plus 8 is 12. Or you can start with the 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. And then one more is 12. Write the 2 plus 1 up top. I can start with the 1 and 1, that's 2, plus 7 is 9, or we can do 7, 8, 9. Anyway, as long as you do it the right way, 1 plus 3 is 4. Are we done? Are we done? No, because what did we forget? The decimal. Oh, you didn't forget that. We just need to do that right now. So look at the problem right here. How many digits do you see behind the decimal? Count it. One, two, three, bloop, bloop, bloop. So when we go to the answer, we go bloop, bloop, bloop. And the decimal goes right there. Now we need to check our work. Check it with the calculator. Let me see. Where's my calculator? Where's my calculator? All right. So three and 785 thousands, just like that, times 13. Yep, 13. Just like that equals, yeah, look, not only did I get the digits right, I have the decimal in the right spot, and I know you do too, so yeah, yeah, put your hands up, uh, 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 yes, so now let's write that answer down, the answer is 49, say it with me, and 205 thousandths, what's the unit, liters, you can write the word leaders. The abbreviation is L. 
but oh, like Miss Alana, we are done with number seven. On to the last question till I see you. Here's some Alana sprinkles for your life. Bam, bam, bam. Give me some, give me some sprinkles. Yes, so we could just exchange all our awesomeness together. Moving on to the last one. See you then.